Hi everyone, it's, good afternoon, it's Tiana. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm just gonna give everyone a moment to kind of jump on here with me. I see some people coming on today. Thank you and welcome for joining me today. Um, so before I jump into it, I just um, wanna take a breather. Uh, I'm feeling a little nervous and stuff right now and I think it's just you know um, I've been even reading in the community just a lot of things going on in the world so let's just take a breather get started and again welcome for being here let me I don't know if you guys have seen this new drink um, so I picked it up from Starbucks it is the iced kiwi starfruit drink um, I don't know if you guys remember what the green Jolly Rancher tastes like, but that is, this drink, that's what it tastes like. Um, I had to water it down because it was quite sweet, but it's a fun little cute color to, you know, it's all the, I think those are kiwis on the inside. But it's a nice drink. I'd recommend you guys try it. Something fun that's been kind of like a, a nice happy place for me is to kind of pick up a nice cold drink, especially because it's getting so hot during the summer. Um, but yeah. So today I'm going to be spending some time talking about this uh, liquid potion in a bottle and it is our sticky base coat. We launched this, I believe it was last year sometime, but I just wanted to let you guys in on the goodies because this five star item um, has our reviewers raving and I love this product so much. And uh, many people have been saying it's their must-have tool and they love it. And I just want to make sure that you guys were aware of this product and all the things that it can do um, for you and your nail stamping needs. Um, I'll admit that the bottle itself doesn't really look like much. It's just, you know, liquid orange tint. But don't let it fool you because today I'm going to show you actually three ways that you can use this product. And hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. So nice to um, have you guys here. And um, you know why this product is a go-to item for me. So I know I have some naked nails, but I do oftentimes um, use gel on my nails and for several different reasons. Uh, one, because I'm impatient and um, you know, and I know I'm not the only one. You know, drying, it's uh, such a task. And you know, there's so many times where I'm working on my nails late at night and um, I'm so tired and I want to go to sleep and then I wake up and I have like the pillow lines. Give me some hearts if, if that, you know, has happened to you because that's definitely happened for me. Another thing that, um, what do you call, I know tends to be a, a thing and we should talk about it here, but is needing to use the bathroom while you're mid doing your nails. I know that I'm not the only one and that has happened to me as well. So yeah hearts for that too because again I know I'm not the only person who has to deal with that so you know gel was just one of those things it was just easy convenient but the next reason why I decided to use gel is you know I remember the height of um, holographic powders specifically the silver holographic powder and when you know that came about it was so popular and I really loved the effect and how rainbowy and shiny it looked. And at the time, it seemed like the only way to really get a good effect was to use gel. So um, that's basically what I used. Now that we have the sticky base coat, you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, this product basically takes care of that. And you know, if you're like me, do as I say, not as I do. I'm putting that as a disclaimer in the beginning because I have damaged my nails a number of times. Um, very very naughty for not soaking off the gel sometimes I'm, not sometimes I'm a peeler and Dev has actually caught me on this a number of times too um, you know you don't do that it's a big no-no but I do sometimes um, but with the sticky base coat and using regular polished products you don't have to worry about that so again it looks like there's a lot of people who run into the same issues as me <laughs> um, but anyway, let's just jump right into it. Let me give you a brief introduction into you know this item. Um, so it comes manufactured 
in this orangey tinty color. I don't think it's anything you have to really worry about. Um, you know, especially if you're using like a white base or a light base, um, it's not going to affect or leave like an orangey tint. Again, you should only be using like a very thin layer of this product anyway, because a little goes a long way. So, um, yeah. This uh, product today, I'm gonna show you three different demonstrations on how you can use it for uh, powders like this, really fine powders. Um, that also applies with your like, you know, a hollow powder or something like that, uh, flakies, and then also using it for your reverse stamping um, needs. And this is a reverse stamp that I worked on earlier today. And I've just been keeping it pliable while putting my cap on like that. And so as you can see, the cap doesn't disturb, you know, the stamp design. I just kind of keep it out of the elements and pliable for when I'm ready to put it onto my nail. Okay, so let's get started. Let me go ahead and show the pixie dust first, just because it's so pretty. Um, so I did this example earlier. Now, um, this pixie dust was actually something that was a early release in our Manny by Me box, but it is currently live on um, our website. And it has this gorgeous kind of scarab look to it where it has greens and pinks and purples, a really gorgeous, gorgeous color. Let me move all of this around so I can get started. So here I just have this black tip and all I use was just our straight up black um, stamping polish as the base. And let me get this open. Oh, hold on one moment. This is gonna get messy as being creative often does. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper towel as because as soon as I start messing with these flakies, it's gonna go flying all over the place. Okay, so every time, um, you know, that we sell like these powders and stuff, it comes with this applicator, which is a really basic applicator, but it works extremely well. So we'll just leave that on the side. All I'm going to do is after you have your base and just nothing fancy, I'm just going to do black just because. So I'm going to paint just a light layer of this sticky base coat onto the nail. Just make sure all the areas are um, covered. And if for some reason you missed a spot, don't worry. You know, um, you can go back through. Okay, so this is the part that a lot of people seem to ask about, which is the time. Um, I don't specifically have a time for you how long it takes to dry, but if I had to ballpark it, I would probably say you're gonna wanna do uh, maybe 45 to a minute, um, because also I don't wanna use the term dry, I'm going to use the term tacky. Tacky is very important because that sticky layer is actually what's gonna help you, uh, your powders or your flakies or your stamp design to actually stick onto the um, base of your nail. If you um, wait too long, then basically just this becomes a base coat and you will have to go through the whole stickiness like, um, process again by putting on another layer and just kind of waiting. So don't just put this on, you know, stand by. And right now that was about maybe close to a minute. Okay, so now we got the stickiness. I can actually see, um, I don't know if I can show it in the video, but there's like my fingerprint over there. So now what I'm gonna do is, oh, I'm gonna use my teal gummy stamper for this, this next process, just by just grabbing some powder and putting it onto my stamper. I just like using this because it kind of keeps all the powders. You see how messy that gets? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look like a fairy princess after this. <laughs> so I've just put these flakies onto the stamper and watch. This is why I do that because it just helps for the application process. 
makes the flakies and very nice and smooth and it helps with coverage as well so don't be afraid just go ahead and pat that down using your stamper and I don't know you can see how smooth there's no bumps no anything like that very very smooth application and it just looks like a beautiful foil right onto your nails is that gorgeous So about, I, I just saw someone um, kind of asking about the base color. So again, I'm just using black just because I, I knew I was doing a full application. So, you know, the base color doesn't really matter. Um, I suppose if I really wanted to, I could have found, you know, a metallic green or maybe a purple to kind of um, act as my base, but I just decided to do black. Um, because it's gonna be, again, full coverage, not really a problem of what the, the base coat color is gonna be, so. I'm going to go ahead and use my um, sticky stamper station, which is uh, my go-to here. Just kind of ripped it out of the book. And that's how I clean my stamper after that. So just taking the gummy stamper and just stamping it onto the sticky part. And there you go. That's probably as good as I'm going to get right now because I see flakies kind of flying all over the place. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna get that ready for my the, the second application. But I love the gumminess and everything of this uh, teal stamper. I think it works well for this. So, um, I know oftentimes people wanna know if you can stamp over this, you sure can. Um, and let me see, I actually do happen to have some stamper plates, I'm sorry, some stamping plates here. Let me see if I can find something. Um, do, 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 do. Actually, I'm gonna try and stamp maybe some of these little cute hash marks here. Let's see, I have this really, I've been really loving this color, this Jungle Mirage. So let's see how this looks when I stamp it over. Okay, I'm just gonna use my pink double-ended stamper. Let me just get that prepped so it's ready to go. Okay. Let me put some polish here. Let's see, see how this looks after. So I picked it up, there you go, and oh, oh that looks fun. There. You know, and I wanted to show you guys, you know, the fact that you can stamp over this just because many times you know, I don't want, you know, the creative process can go way above just, you know, your base or anything like that. So feel free to like stamp over this. And I also have my smudge free. So the smudge free top coat is what I would recommend if you're stamping, but then also if you're using foil as well, it works uh, beautifully. So let me just go ahead and seal this in. And there you go. That's a fun design. And the products that I am showing you here today, yes, you can go ahead and purchase it on the website. So um, at www.maniology.com. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into my next demonstration. Just let me go ahead and uh, cover this flaky dust because again, I am getting very shiny over here. <laughs> Maybe dust off my hands. And also make sure it's not going into my kiwi starfruit drink. I literally look like Tinkerbell just went poof all over me. <laughs> okay, so today actually, I know I used the gold in the demonstration, 
tip, but I, I wanna use this blue because I am in love with this sapphire uh, powder. So the process I'm gonna do is very similar to the, uh, how I, what I did with the, the flakies. I am going to use, again, this uh, teal gummy stamper. And what I'm gonna do here, let me just open this up and get the gummy part ready. Ooh. I think maybe because I'm by the AC, maybe it flew all over the place. This powder is so rich, luscious, and lush it. The, the, the. It's beautiful. <laughs> and um, very velvety looking. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. There you go. So I'm just gonna, you know, kind of make like a rectangle shape. Um, you know, with these powders, a little goes a long way, so you don't really have to use a lot. I'm just kind of lightly dipped it in there, and that's it. Just go ahead and cap that. Um, and here I have another example, just using a black base. And, you know, a black I just used just because it's, you know, this is a dark um, color uh, powder. Um, this one I actually use a white base with gold so and you can see underneath how it's white So I just went black and we're gonna go ahead and take our sticky sticky base coat And take a little bit of that Don't need to be heavy-handed just make sure it's coated all the way And now we wait So now we're just waiting for it to get tacky, maybe about 45 seconds. I always, uh, I would recommend using kind of like the finger tap test. If you see your, um, your fingerprint, then you're good to go. If it's too slick and too dry, then you're gonna have to do this process all over again. Okay, so I'm seeing a really good question here by Kimberly about why you need the sticky base coat. So um, I'm, I'm showing you three different ways, you know, that you can use it. Um, you know, so if you are an avid stamper and you like to do very creative stamping techniques, such as reverse stamping, I would definitely recommend that you do this. Sometimes when you're reverse stamping, maybe you forget that, uh, you know, maybe you're working on multiple tips at the same time, um, if you, especially if you have multiple heads, so you could be working on like maybe your eighth nail and you just forgot, you know, that you wanted to put it on when it was still tacky, the design. The uh, sticky base coat just kind of takes out the thinking for you. You know, you just put on your designs when you are ready and it doesn't take that long. So I have to make sure also that I'm not talking too much. Okay, so again, I see I see my fingerprint on there. I better hurry up because it's getting kind of dry. So let me just show you guys how I do this. And just make sure you coat that. And voila, there. So earlier this had happened to me. I mean, this one is covered um, completely and see. A little goes a long way. So you see how much powder is actually left on your stamper head. But say, or for instance, you know, you, you didn't um, catch this part, it's still black and you, there wasn't any powder. Then you just basically go with your uh, sticky base coat and just apply it into that one area and wait till it's tacky. And then go ahead and just apply the excess from here and just keep going. Just go like this, just tap it. It'll catch on to the areas of where it needs to, but right now, because there is a coat over this, I don't have to worry about this. So now, if you want, I really like the matte look of this. If you were um, wanting to achieve the matte, but of course we would still have to seal this in. 
I would still recommend using your smudge free top coat. Then once that is dry, I would put a matte top coat over it. But for the sake of simplicity, let's just go ahead and just put the smudge free top coat over this just to seal in the design. And whatever your finish is, you know, if you want to keep it shiny, then you just leave it like this. If you want it uber, uber shiny or you have like your favorite top coat and you want it like bam shiny, then go ahead. Um, you could even, if you had some kind of special tea top coat, you could do that over this as well. If you wanted matte, you could put that on top. But basically all I'm doing is I'm sealing this in with a smudge free top coat, which is a must. Okay, so there's that. Just like how I did with this one, if you wanted to stamp over your powder, you can once, um, I, I guess I kind of did it the opposite way, but you, you could stamp over this if you wanted to. Okay, and the last demonstration I am going to show you is the reverse stamp. Now, this one I find to be very important just because, you know, sometimes reverse stamping can get very complicated. Um, especially if you're, first, you know, you're just starting out. So I feel like with the sticky stamper, I'm sorry, the sticky base coat, it just really takes the whole guesswork out of that. Okay, all I'm doing is just cleaning off my base over here. There you go, so now it's all yellow and pretty again. Okay. So right here I have a I use Skin Deep as the, the base here, it's dry. Now, because I know I was painting over black, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure to kind of um, paint off, I don't know if you guys can see that, how it actually took off some of the black polish. So I would definitely don't want any black on my base here. So I'm just kind of brushing this on the side, making sure that it actually comes out clear Okay, it looks good. Sometimes that just happens with polish, so it's, it's just a good idea to do that. Okay. So this design, maybe I'll just go ahead and do like three fourths, you know, just cover it like that. Uh, just let me go ahead and paint the whole thing. Cause all that's gonna do is just dry. So I'll just kind of wait for this to get tacky. So what I'm going to do is just transfer this really, really dry design that I made several hours ago onto my nail. That's why it's really good too that our stampers come with these, um, the protective shields, these covers. So you can actually do that. You can make as many decals as you want as you go and just protect them and make sure they don't get nicked. That looks a little too shiny. Oop. See, that's way too wet, so we're gonna have to wait. Okay. I'm really liking this design. So simple, but so cute and shiny too. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> we are ready. So let me, this also gives me time to kind of place it and line it up. So let's see. There you go. Okay, so of course that's just all the excess. So don't have, you know, don't worry about that. I'll just come right off and there you go so all you would have to do is just go ahead and seal that in with your smudge free top coat and there your design is done okay so kind of tacky but basically when you just wait it's going to just dry completely so you don't have to really worry about that. So let me just go ahead and do this. Mm. 
Nope. I think I got some polish on it, but that's okay. It's just for the demonstration purposes, but there's that. So what did you guys think about today's demonstration? Let me go ahead and show you what we created today. So we did this with the flakies and then we also stamped over it and sealed it in with our um, smudge free top coat. We also did a luscious velvety blue powder that we have sat fire and put that on in one fell swoop using our stamper and then also sealing that in with our smudge free. And then we also put our reverse stamping decal that I created several hours ago onto this nail using the sticky base coat. So I'm so glad that I was able to share with you guys the techniques in which you can use, you know, this little tool because you can use it for so many things. And, um, you know, it just, again, for the, the reverse stamping, takes the guesswork, you know, it gives you time to play around and really line up your design on your nail um, the way that you want to. If you wanna do anything like powders, hollow powders, uh, flakies, glitters, this is a perfect, you know, technique. Um, you know, and sometimes you don't have polishes that look like this. Maybe you have a powder and you need something that's going to help to adhere to your nail. And again, you can't really make a mistake with a product like this because if you miss the tackiness, then it's just gonna dry like a base coat onto your nail. So you do have a small window of time for you to kind of think about what you're doing, um, you know, before actually applying the, you know, powder or the stamped um, design to your nail. And yeah, I see you guys have a lot of questions. I know I have um, a maniology team kind of helping to answer things. So I know um, after this, I'll go inside uh, Facebook and help to answer any questions. And I'll probably be doing that throughout the week, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And um, the items I did show you are currently on our website, especially this baby right here. Again, the sticky base coat. And um, definitely tell me how you like it. Leave a comment. Um, and if you guys have any ideas for any future videos that you would like to see, any demonstrations, please let us know. We're here for you. We love um, showing you, you know, different ways you can use um, our Maniology products, or maybe there's a technique. Um, you know, that has been floating around our community. Oh, and that's another thing too. We do have a very supportive online community for you on Facebook and it's called the Maniology uh, Community. And if you're not a member, go be a member. It's completely free. And uh, there's a large community of, of people who love stamping and they wanna help you if you have any questions, they wanna give you inspiration. We are also on there as well. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you, you know, another resource for inspiration, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Thank you so much for being here with me and be kind to each other, be kind to yourself and have a nice rest of the week. Bye guys.